Welcome back to Booze Reviews in Black and White. I am Bane. Uh, to my far right is D'Amico and special guest Brittany. Hi guys. All right, today we got the red wine throwdown. Uh, yeah. th we're going to be spit firing through three reds. Uh, we're going to start out with a Merlot, Dynamite Merlot, 2008. Uh, let's dive into this. Right away on the nose, massive fruits. Yeah, definitely. Black fruit. And that's kind of what Dynamite's known for, isn't it? Just kind of bold flavor. Sure. Mm. I got a little bit of oak on the nose as well, and you know, but overpowered, overpowered by the uh, yeah. fruit. Yep. Massive fruit. Yeah. Plenty dry though. For sure. Definitely, uh, not as balanced as um, some people would like. Mm -hmm. I'm some people. And not as soft. <clears throat> <clears throat> definitely, yeah. definitely got plenty of edge to it. Yeah, definitely some sharpness, something you'd see in a tannic cab almost. Uh, mm -hmm. Not as not as hardcore <coughs> uh, by any means, but... Uh, Merlots have gotten a, a bad rep uh, in the last few years. Definitely. What, uh, what are you going to rate this one? I'm going to rate that one 80. 80? Okay. Yeah. That's an 80, definitely. 80. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what? Uh, I, like, I like Merlots. It's just one of those things... Um, can't get enough of her lows. 85. Wow. Now we're on to the Avalon Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Um, we're looking at 2009. Thank you. Yeah, it's this one is brand spanking new uh, year. So I'm definitely uh, expecting this thing to be young, bright, just in your face. Where is this out of? California. Sonoma. So. I'm going to take the nose on that see what you think. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. That is, that is actually kind of laid back mm -hmm. compared to what I thought it was going to be. Plenty soft. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think that there's uh, really just a lot more gentle on the nose than the Merlot in comparison. What do you think? On saying? the nose, it's reminiscent of a big jammy Zinfandel. Mm. Big, bold, fruit compote, blackberries. I'm getting uh, older fruits, uh, raisins, uh, oh. things like that. Um, yeah, I'm totally astonished here. I'm, I wasn't expecting this. This is great. Figs. Um, oh, for sure. A little sure. older, uh, old style, I yep. would say. Very surprising for the for the price point. This is a gem, definitely. Yep. Very you're, good. You're not getting the, the old world, like the, the earthiness, mm -mm. but with the fruit, definitely. Yeah. I would agree with you there. Very surprising. I, I wouldn't quite go steak with this one, but definitely a well-made burger would work. Sure, yeah, sure. Definitely. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dong. Rate it. A bell. What do you think? I'm going to jump this one up a notch. I'm going to put this at a solid 85. Mm -hmm. I, I would say 84. 87. 87. Ooh. Positive Pete over here. Yeah, my positive thoughts. mood. <laughs> positive mood. We're, we're, we're into the alias Cabernet. Um, Definitely another California. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is out of Napa. Has anyone tried this one? Have you guys tried it? I have not it? tried it. No, I haven't either. So it'll be new for everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Haven't heard of it, haven't seen it before, and uh, definitely waiting and willing to try this one. Nose is disappointing me already. Very subtle. Very subtle. I get more alcohol than anything. More yeah. heat. Positive Pete? Negative. <laughs> no, I'm negative. <laughs> After this Avalon, that big J. Yeah, I definitely. It, this is. It, it's less. Let, definitely less than. I'm gonna say let down. What do you say? This is a throwdown, not a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, I'm I'm with you on that. Definitely a different style altogether. Uh, a lot more delicate. Um, drier. Um, Kind of tingier too. There's there's something else there. I don't, I don't know if it's metal or minerality or something. I get the minerality, but I get more herbaceousness than anything. Oh yeah, this is okay. very juicy. Um, I'm assuming it's the acidity that's giving me the mouth watering 
effect, but mm. um, mm. I, I might my palate might be a little bit different. I'm tasting a little bit more strawberry. Sure. A little tart. Oh, yeah. I, I would say. Maybe that's what I'm getting. I, I don't. Tart strawberry. I, I taste the mouth watering, like mm -hmm. you were saying, but it doesn't. It doesn't really. It seems to me more of a, a puckery feeling. I. I don't mind it actually. I don't. It is different. Do you know those little candies that are shaped like bears? They have like the the In sugar. The packaging that's with sour. The, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting <laughs> now that you had mentioned that. So talk about throwback. <laughs> throwback, throw down red wine. You know, it's not going to be a sweet uh, character at all. So I mean, bringing that up, I'm mm -hmm. talking about the the sour, the the pucker. Uh, yeah. The saltiness, stuff like that, really kind of reminds me of the finish, you know, midway through to the finish. Sure, sure. So what would you rate it then? Um, probably low 80s, probably 84. Mm. You know, I'm starting to get essences of my first Carmen year, which we'll get into that another time. Um, I love Carmen years. My first one was a, a failure. Uh, now that I know what a Carmen year should taste like, um, <laughs> I'm going to drop this one to the 79 point range. Mm -hmm. I would say 81, 82, but not to be, I, I think that there's some value there. I think it's a, just a different taste and people that are learning how to try wine and taste different wines should try it. It's worth a try. Okay. Well, God, I thought I was going neg negative, but you guys <laughs> undercut me a little negative bit. Negative now, positive P. <laughs> yes. My alter ego, positive P. <laughs> Get Bane started on his alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're going to have more coming at you fast, quick, um, and we'll see you soon. Be safe out there. Peace. Peace. Bye.